Good morning, everyone. This is Hope Maddox. Again, it's a pleasure to be with you on this great Tuesday morning. I'm so happy that I'm able to share with you my devotions. Praying all's well with everybody. This morning, I'm going to talk a little bit about showers of blessing. See, we're all aware that God rains down showers of blessings every day. But guess what? We often miss them because our focus is on earthly things. You see, this world, moreover, attacks us with so many things that make us think we are blessed and happy. It looks like everything makes us feel so good that at times we forget that this is only temporary. It then becomes challenging to keep our eyes on Jesus at times. Again, guess what? We cannot allow ourselves to trust what the world thinks because its view on happiness changes constantly. In contrast, the Bible tells us that God never changes. He also tells us that in his word, we still can be happy even when things go wrong. You know why? Because to be blessed is to experience the full impact of God's presence in our lives. As a result, we feel his peace and well-being despite our circumstances. Nothing I'm saying is new, my friends. 133 years ago, listen, Daniel Whittle wrote the hymn, There shall be showers of blessings. Oh, that today they might fall. Now as to God we are confessing, now as to Jesus we call. And yet, so many people continue to search for blessings and happiness in every generation and realize that they can only find their peace and rest in God alone. Praise God, because guess what? He never changes. As we find peace with God, the Holy Spirit showers us with his blessings. Do you remember how Acts described how Paul and Silas were stripped and beaten and thrown into prison? They did not think about the circumstances. Instead, they sang and prayed and all the prisoners began to listen to them. Hmm. Amen. I sum it up here by saying that love, peace, and joy are blessings that come from the Spirit of God. His blessings are the supernatural work of the Holy Spirit and happens when we trust in Him. We will continue to be showered with His blessings when we cooperate with God by faith rather than by being consumed by events beyond our control. Finally, I say, obedience to God brings showers of blessings, not just sometimes, but always. Let us pray. Again today, dear Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Father, for your gift of life. Dear God, thank you for all who walk in obedience to you. In so doing, God, we are asking for continued blessing and prosperity. Father God, help us to endure trials, hardships, mockery, illness, knowing that as we persevere, we will receive the crown of life you have promised us. Praise the Lord. Bless us as we listen to you and try to keep your ways, listen to your instructions, and meditate on your words. Shower us with thy blessings every day, dear God. In your name we pray, amen and amen. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for your blessings. Your guidance is wise Thank you for your blessings, thank you for your blessings, your lessons live on in me.
Have a great and blessed week, my friends. I pray that God continues to shower us with blessings as we face this troubled world. Have faith. Love you much. Bye.